Just look at this. Such a smooth cinematic map animation. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? So, if you want to create a map animation like this for your travel or documentary videos, stay till the end. Well, Filmora 15, the latest version, is finally live. And trust me, it's way better than before. It brings some amazing new features like AI Extend, the pen tool, and many more creative upgrades. Honestly, this version feels smoother, faster, and just more fun to edit with. I'll make a detailed video soon covering all these new features, but for now, let's focus on this one. Import a map image. By the way, you'll find the website link in the description where you can capture maps like this. Zoom and adjust the map so any unnecessary edges are cropped out. Go to color, set temperature to minus 3, vibrance minus 100, saturation minus 100, exposure around 6, brightness minus 80, contrast 50, and black minus 15. Click curves, make sure Y is selected and drag slightly down from the center. Then select B and drag slightly down too. And of course, tweak the color to match your theme if you want. Search noise in effects, apply on it, set intensity to 10, and strength to 20. Then go to filters, search cool. Drag this cool fill. Select both layers and extend the duration to about 10 seconds. At the start, add an opacity keyframe at zero and at around 112, set it to 100% to create a smooth transition. Curve those keyframes for a nice ease. Now decide where to draw the path. Zoom the screen to 100% for a better preview. Click the shapes icon and choose the pen tool. Draw your path over the map and adjust points as needed. If it doesn't come out right the first time, no worries. You can adjust the points manually step by step. By default, it's solid color. Pick any color you like the most. Then just scroll down and choose line style and end caps. You can choose any of these presets. I'm going with neon. Firstly, I will choose this green color to match our theme. Tweak basic settings as required. Move the playhead to around 5 seconds. I'll add an end keyframe in the trim path section. Then go back to the start and set the value to 0. Alright, this is perfect. Personally, I've been waiting for this tool for a long time because we'll be able to make even more creative videos with it. Scroll down in the stroke section. We can also add path follow and we can add custom shapes too. Just for reference, I'll select signal pulse then hit on link and set the resolution to HD. I think you get the idea how path follow works. I'll delete this because I'll make a custom shape. Move the playhead back to where a short line should appear. Select the ellipse tool, hold shift to draw a small circle and place it perfectly at the end of the line. Disable its border, add a subtle green shadow I'll set the same green and slightly tweak it. I want the fill color to be pure white. Match the duration and make a duplicate layer. On the duplicate, disable the fill so only the border remains. Increase the circle size a bit. This looks much better now. To animate it, go to this point and add a transform keyframe. Then set the start scale to zero. Add the same type of keyframe on the second layer, but shift the second keyframe slightly forward. Preview and check that it's not too fast. Adjust the keyframe positions to set the speed as you prefer. That's good. Now select both layers and create a compound clip. Duplicate this layer and place it at other line ends, manually positioning each one. Alright, this is fine. First, 
check a quick preview. Now move the playhead to 112 and add a default title. In advanced settings, delete the defaults and add a rectangle shape. I'm typing random text here as a placeholder, then I'll select the Gotham bold font and set the color to black. Shrink it and place it near the first point on the map where it fits best. Play it a couple of times to perfectly adjust the size. Next, set the shape fill color to white and the border to black. Set opacity to 48% and blur to 4 to create a shadow effect. Now add animation. You can use any preset. I'll pick round zoom out. Reduce the in animation duration a little and remove the ending animation. Duplicate this and place it at the second point then easily replace the text. You've probably noticed we've kept this video very simple and shown the process step by step because many of our subscribers asked for a slower, in-depth tutorial. Search dirty in effects and drag it to the timeline, stretching it to the end. Set opacity to 70% because we want a mild effect. Now select all layers and make a compound clip. At the very beginning, add a transform keyframe, then around 110, increase the scale. Now just follow the line path and keep adjusting positions. Understand these steps so that if the line moves up, you adjust position accordingly. And if it moves left or right, you set the position accordingly. These keyframes give amazing movement to this effect. Yeah, if you want to add a bit more creativity, you can go to the effects section and try applying some 3D effects. Trust me, it'll make your final look way more cinematic. Finally, set the keyframes to ease in so the animation becomes even smoother. I hope you like this idea and if you try something unique, make sure to share it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel because more awesome videos are coming.